Welcome back to my channel. This is Majin Vlogs. For today's video, gagawa tayo ng masarap na lasagna. At kasama ko ulit ang aking ate, si Ate Marian. Siya ang magtuturo sa atin kung paano gumawa ng lasagna. Hi! I'm here again, the guest vlogger. <laughs> yes! <laughs> the guest yes. vlogger chef. But definitely, I'm not a chef because I'm not a professional in this field. So, we're going to cook this time lasagna. What do we need for lasagna? Lasagna has four components, so it has noodles, of course, the lasagna noodles. Then, we have the bechamel or the white sauce, which we will do later. And the red sauce, that has meat, the red sauce or the meat sauce. Then, we also have the cheese. So, those are the components of lasagna. So, all of them will be cooked later. So, lasagna is usually prepared on special occasions. So, first, you don't just wake up on an ordinary day thinking of cooking lasagna. Because if you want lasagna in ordinary day, you'll just buy it. So there is a special occasion today. It's and your birthday. Whatever that occasion is, I will not be revealing it. <laughs> so are you ready for the ingredients? So let's have the ingredients. Cameraman, our videographer. We have here one kilogram beef. We will use beef because it's a special lasagna. We need lasagna sheets or lasagna noodles olive oil, we have here diced tomato, crushed tomato. If you notice, I didn't use tomato sauce. We'll be having crushed and diced tomato. And of course, tomato paste. Then we have evac milk. This will be used for bechamel. Um, cheddar cheese for bechamel. Then we have quick melt cheddar cheese for additional cheese on top and in between all the layers. Then we have onion, garlic, flour, and butter. This will be for the roux. This we will make we will make a vegetable. There. Those are the ingredients. And we also need salt and pepper for Taste. seasoning. <laughs> Let's start. We'll start with bechamel or the white sauce. So first, heat your pan in medium heat or medium fire. Then Place or add your butter there. So we just have to melt the butter here. It's easier to melt the butter if it's cut in cubes, so you have to do it that way. So this one is about 50 grams of butter. There, it's melting fast. Once the butter is melted, you have to add the same amount of flour. This is all-purpose flour. So if it is 50 grams, you also have 50 grams flour. Now why do we have to do that? Because we are making a roux. You know, in French cuisine, they use roux to make their soup thick and their sauces thick. Unlike in Asian cuisine, they're using slurry, the combination of water and cornstarch. This is the roux. Once the flour is cooked, you can make it the heat low or you can turn it off before you add the milk. They make the roux darker so that the bechamel will be colorful. So it will not be called white sauce anymore, but an off-white sauce. I'll turn off the heat. It's still hot, that's why we turn off the heat. Because even though it's just the heat of the pan, the flour is still cooking. We'll be using whisk this time. So let's the milk and the roux will mix well. So I'm using evaporated milk.
will thicken when it's colder. So we just have to set it aside and we'll have the red sauce. Okay? We'll now do the red sauce. If you'll see, we heat the pan again and you'll be using olive oil. After the olive oil, we'll put this into the pan. This is white onion. Some people call it yellow onion. We just make it sweat and become translucent before we add the garlic. see the color has changed to brown so it means the meat is already cooked but we still have to cook this and the other ingredients so we'll add first the crushed tomato from that to add more flavor we'll have diced Tomato. This diced tomato has oregano, garlic, and basil leaves. Since we were not able to buy basil leaves, we just use this one. this so it's just okay. It's well simmered and this will be baked later together with the noodles and the vegetable sauce. Okay na. I drizzled olive oil here in the pan first. Of course we have to spread it with a brush if you want to may use a spatula. So the only reason why we have to grease the pan to ensure that the noodles will not stick into the pan. The first layer is the red sauce. So remember we greased it and we'll put into the first layer. Since we have a lot of red sauce, we just put a lot of red sauce. Why is this the first layer? Because this will maintain the moisture of the noodles. Because we're going to use instant noodles for this. But even though you're using the pre-cooked one, it's still better to start with the red sauce. So, needing spatula. Lasagna sheets. So for lasagna, it's okay to overlap.
little drizzle olive oil here. It should be a non-grease spray, but we don't have that. So we can use olive oil instead and brush. We're only doing this to ensure that in case the sun arrives, it will not, the cheese will not stick into the foil because we cannot keep the cheese on the foil. Place this in the oven for 30 minutes. Finally, it's cooked! Oh, look at that, it's perfect. Of course, you will not immediately oh. slice it. You have to let it cool before you slice or else oh. mm. it will not look good when you slice. Obviously, we have already tasted it. <laughs> we have eaten a number of slices already. But, of course, we'll taste it again as if it's the first time that we have tried this. And we'll describe to you the taste. Of course, this one is meaty, cheesy. But this is a little sour. If you do not like sour version of lasagna, sorry, I, I have to chew. You can reduce the number of spoons of the tomato paste and add more sugar. But this one is more of an Italian version, so this is sour. But I like it sour. And this is good. 